Hi everyone, Retro PC Gaming here, and today I will show you how to install Windows 9X, Windows 95, Windows 98, and Millennium Edition in VMware with modern CPU on modern PCs. Now everyone knows that uh, that Windows 98 to install Windows 98, I recommend using an OEM on Windows 98 CD for installation, since these are bootable. Install Windows 98 like normal until the Windows actually starts up for the first time. Once you reach the user information screen, you want to power down the virtual machine and use the power on to firmware option in VMware to go to the BIOS setup and change the boot order to CD first. And then after this, now every after this, it should install fine because as you are aware that uh, people are complaining that Windows 98 does not really work on new virtual machines and it's got got too bad now even if it's virtualized so for this tutorial we're going to begin the setup and create a new virtual machine and then you want to click on next and then you want to find the ISO which you can find in worldandworld.com and Windows 98 has been detected, but I'm going to use second edition for Windows 98 because first edition would not install the sign properly as it would cause the blue screen of death while you're installing it. So the second edition would be the recommended Windows 98 operating system to install. And then you want to click on next and then you want to click and use the name, which is Windows 98. And then you want to click on next and then you want to set the maximum size, disk size to 8 gigabytes, which I'm going to be used. And I'm going to say you can always store virtual disk as a single file, but I'm going to split virtual disk into multiple files. And then you want to click on next. And after this, you want to customize your hardware. And then you want to add your floppy drive for when we're using the patch 9x. And then after that, you want to click on close. And then you want to click on finish. And then I'm going to change the settings to go to free stretch. And then I'm going to go full screen. And then I'm going to put from CD-ROM. And then we're going to start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. This is going to take some time to install Windows 98 on modern CPU as well as on VMware Player as of 2025. Now you want to click in the S, say yes enable large disk support and then it's going to restart from the and then you start again you want to on the setup menu you want to start windows 98 setup from cd-rom which is easily bootable and then it's formatting drive c which is going to take some while so it's 90 percent and now it's 95 percent and the format has just reached 100 percent quicker than in and then we're going to do a Microsoft scan disk, which is checking for areas. And now we're on to the Windows 98 setup. Congratulations on choosing Windows 98. So with Windows 98, you can connect to the internet quickly and easily. And then you want to click on continue. And then it's going to prepare this Windows 98 setup. And then you want to click on Windows. And then it's checking for installed components. And then we're going to go custom. And then we're going to click on next. And then we're going to go to accessories. That on the uh, add and remove setup features I'm going to tick accessories I'm going to tick desktop themes and I'm going to tick multi-language support and then we're going to go to multimedia oops I meant tick 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 and then we're going to go multimedia and then we're going to go details and I'm going to need to tick on sample signs multimedia sign schemes provides different sign schemes to enhance Windows system events which I don't want to so I'm going to leave it unticked and after that you want to go untick the system tools and tick system tools click next and then I'm going to give the computer a name as VMware Win 98 and then I'm going to click on next and I'm going to check the keyboard layout I'm going to set this to as British click OK and I'm going to set regional settings to British click OK and then click on next and then we're going to set it to United Kingdom as our region and then click on next and then we just have to sit back and relax while Windows 98 installs on our VMware workstation 
player. So after we finish the file copy setup, we're going to show you how you can make Windows 98 patch as a floppy drive and how you can boot it through floppy drive. And after it's finished the file copy progress, we're going to show you how you can fix it. And then we're going to restart the computer. So click on restart now. Now after this we're going to try and shut down the VMware. So we're going to go to power and then we're going to shut down the system. And then I'm going to show you how you can patch it. To get the patch 9x converter you would need to download patch 9x which is allows the patch for Windows 9x to fix CPU issues. Now all you want to do, now the next thing you want to do is to uh, convert image file format so click on that and then we're going to select the uh, and then you want to so we want to go browse and then we're going to look at downloads and then we're going to go to uh, patch 9x boot and then we want to click on open and then you want to convert it to image so click convert now and the converting image has finished successfully and then click on exit now we're back talk on to Windows 98 so you want to go Windows 98 and then you want to edit virtual machine settings and then you want to go floppy you know you need to add the floppy drive into that virtual machine and then you want to click on use floppy image and then you want to go to uh, downloads and then you want to go patcher 9x dot air 0 0.8.50 boot press ok and then you want to click on ok and after that you want to power on to firmware first and while you power on to firmware you want to check if it's bootable like that which it is and then after that you want to exit by saving changes press yes and after that it would take you to the patch for Windows 95, 98, ME to fix CPU issues. So you want to press 1. And then it's showing how much it's using. Showing it's unavailable. And after that you want to type DAR. And then and it's find all the files needed. And after that you want to type patch 9x. And then you want to press enter. And then press enter for valve. And then you want to choose patch number two patch files vmm32.vxd will be patched and then you want to press two now you want to go to as the default settings apply patch so you want to press yet y for yes and then click enter and it's compressing file and there you have it so now patch has been apply applied successfully so after that you want to go and edit your virtual machines, go to removable drives, disconnect, and then reboot your computer. And then you want to start off as normal. And after that, we're going to type in the name, which is VMware Tutorial. And then we're going to push next. And then I accept the agreement. And then I need to enter in the Windows product key. Now after you enter in the product key, you want to click on next. And now Windows 98 is initializing its driver database. And now setting up your hardware and any plug and play devices that you may have. If you install Windows 98 for the ISO image, which is nowadays very, very useful, you can install Windows 98 in VMware Player easily. And now Windows 98 is now detecting any non-plug-and-play hardware on your computer. But it may take a few minutes and it may cause your computer to stop responding. If the progress indicator does stop for a long time and there is no disk activity, then I highly recommend that you reboot your virtual machine. And now Windows 98 is now setting up your hard drive and any plug-and-play devices. And then we're going to set the time zone to GMT, click apply, click OK. 
And now you can see the Windows 98 installation with the Patch 9 CPU for modern CPUs on modern PCs is installing with PCs running G 2.3 GHZ and above. It installs smoothly with the patch. If you don't use the patch that I've taught you what to do with the uh, Patch 9 floppy image, I mean, it won't work. You have to always patch with the CPU of the Windows 9X for this to work for the installation properly. And if you don't, you would get an error message saying that it performed an illegal operation and will be shut down, which causes Windows 98 installation to break down. So you would need to use the Patch 9 CPU to get Windows 98 VMware player on VMware Player working on modern PCs as of 2025 and above. Since a lot of people have encountered these issues back in 2021, forcing them to switch to PC Emulator or 86 box. But if this does not work on VMware Workstation Player and you don't want to use VMware, I highly recommend you to use two other virtual machines. That is PC Emulator or you can use the 86 box. I might do virtual box tutorial in the future. Well, and that's the installation all finished. So we're going to click on restart now. And now you have Windows 98 finally installed on VMware Player and working properly on Windows 9, the modern machines. Even if you guys have the latest gaming PCs, I would highly recommend that if you're running retro games, I would probably use VMware Player. And now it's just checking for default monitor. And it's updating system settings. Now, you won't get any sound at all. when you Once you've installed Windows 98, the sound you know does not work for the uh, Windows 9X operating system. So, you would need the Sound Blaster PCI 128 and DirectX 9 installed on VMware Workstation Player for this to work properly. And after you've installed VMware Workstation Player, then, and you've installed the Sound Blaster with DirectX 8 installed, then you should get it to work. I don't need to connect to the internet right now, but the next step I want to show you is how you install VMware tools. So all you want to do is go VM, install virtual tools, click tick that and click install, and it says, VMware Tools is no longer shipped with VMware Workstation for Legacy. So for this, you would want to uh, download it from this website to work properly. And then after you've done that, click OK. So then you want to go over to CD Drive. And then you want to go to Browse. And then you want to go Downloads. And then you want to go Windows 3 2K. And then click OK. And then click OK and there you've got it so now you can install VMware tools up installation and it's preparing to install click next and then you want to go typical don't go for these ones because or else I'm gonna go for complete because it installs all program features and then you want to click on next and then click install and it's copying everything and it's installing SVGA mouse and it's installing the mouse driver and there you have it so now the installation wizard has successfully installed VMware tools so you want to click on finish and then you want to reboot the computer and after you reboot the computer the next step you want to do is to uh, don't need the password and after this you want to install the sound blaster 128 the first step you want to do is to install direct x9 which I will show you
finalizing and then you want to restart the computer and after it's done the reboot the next step we're going to do is to put the uh, sign blaster 128 onto this machine now to install the SB16 what you want to go to is documents virtual machines and then you want to double click Windows 98 and then you want to go to Windows 98 located here and then you want to right click it and click show more options and then you want to edit it with notepad and then it'll show all the options that I'm not going to mess about with so after that you want to go to uh, 86 right click on it and then you want to go paste and you want to add sign.virtualdev sb16 now I've copied and pasted this from this website so you want I will give you the link to this that says sign.virtualdev sb16 and then you want to go file and then you want to go save and then you have it all saved now and after that you want to go back to virtual machine so we're going to start up VMware Workstation Pro and then we're going to go to Windows 98 and then we're going to power on this virtual machine I'm going to put it on full screen and here we are we're back onto virtual machine and then we're going to click on OK because I don't really need the password and after that we're going to go to start go to settings and then go to control panel now you know how you can install SB16 now it's not easy to install it for this to install automatically while you've booted this machine so you want to double click on add new hardware then you want to click on next and then you want to click next and then it's searching for plug and play devices no I'm gonna say no the device isn't in the list I tried installing the SB128 on the Windows 98 but and I heard a lot of crackling sound or sound distordant when you're using SBI 128 PCI so I'm gonna say no I want to select from the hardware from the list and after that we're gonna go to sign video game controllers and then we want to go create and then you want to go creative which is located here and then you want to say sign blaster 16 or AWE 32 or compatible click next and then Windows can install your hardware using its factory so then you want to click on next and it's installing and Windows has just finished installing necessary to support the new software and there you've got it now Windows 98 has been installed with the SB Sign Blaster and then hopefully we're going to test out the machine to see if this works and then we're going to go volume control which I don't want to end up in so we're going to double click that anyways we got the sound blaster working now but it's a bit fast And there you've got it. So now you've got the Sign Blaster working properly as normal on the Windows 98 virtual machine. And I hope you do find this tutorial video very useful. So please leave your comments below, like your videos, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. And I do hope you do find this VMware installation of Windows 98 on modern CPU tutorial. And I'll see you again for the next tutorial. Goodbye.